episode 24, and we got someone that is from still from our hometown, that's very well known on Wallstar, on Instagram, Twitter. She's trending, probably still trending, but a good friend, Miss Gabby Sandoval. So, woo! that shit. Right, and there's that shit, so we might drink a little bit more today. Well, it's been a long time. Yes, I haven't so seen long. you in ages. Like, actually hang out, hang out. Yeah. Ages. Yeah, Instagram is different, you but know, here and there. actually conversate, be in person, like, totally different. But uh, mm -hmm. what have you been up to? Just working. Where are you, where are you working at right now? I work now? at an urgent care at the moment. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we're a little busy again. Mm -hmm. I bet. But we're, it's, it's better. Obviously, more controlled than last year, um, but we're That's good. Cool. Yeah. How long have you been working there for? I've been, it's actually going to be, oh, I think, when we're in July? We're in July, yeah. Oh, actually, End three July. years. So this month, this month was three years. Yeah. yeah. Did I we like get that, it. Did we get that pay raise already? We <laughs> yeah, we actually did. <laughs> of course, after COVID, we have to, right? <laughs> Damn, okay. Yeah. You're We've been doing that. What, 25 also, 26? 26. Don't remind me. 26. Oh, mm -hmm. your birthday is December. I'm going to be in December. Shh. Crazy. We're going to get that senior citizen discount <laughs> way before this. <laughs> nah, we're, fuck, we've known each other since kindergarten. At least it's like this small. Yeah, this small, <laughs> this wide. Remember I was uh, taller than you? Yeah, you were. <laughs> back then, man, we were cruel, man. We were cruel. But, uh, yeah, that whole, I mean, the whole change, I went from being short fat to now tall and fat so oh we're God. still we're still working but uh did you go to college right after high school i did but i just did community college mm. i didn't go to a four-year yeah um i got my associates in community college i'm still thinking of going back to school for my bachelor's for rn but i don't know yet i'm like in the works of something else what's the Ooh. <laughs> yeah. can you know there's something else um, is that a hidden secret <laughs> Uh, not a secret, but do you believe in my little hole? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Explain it to people that just don't know. <laughs> okay, so my little hole is like when somebody like, not like most of the time I say they envy you or like they just wish bad upon you. Always. And I truly believe in that. Always. I truly believe in that. So I like to work in silence. I like working in silence. So if I have something, I don't like to say it until I have it. So you do it. Yeah. Like my job that I got, I was like best with that job. Like, mm -hmm. um, and I didn't tell anybody until I got it, you know? Yeah. And then sometimes I feel like if you say it, which I believe it's happened to me before, like you don't get it, you it know? Doesn't, it doesn't happen. Yeah. It it's just like, true you don't know, like, I don't know, like there's people that envy you and like, you know, <sighs> that's what I have, you know? Yeah. The maldejo bracelet. Yeah. Um, I mean, not everybody believes in it, but I really believe in it. And it's yeah, just like no, I mean, because it is, I think to an extent that's that's still true, mm -hmm. because how like all those memes saying everything like it's better to work in silence yeah. than to let everybody know. Yeah. Because how we were just telling you earlier, like we had the the podcast in the works, but we always worked in not in a silent thing, right? It was just like our background that we were trying to research, 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 yeah. mm -hmm. until we finally said, "All right, let's test it out." Let's test out the waters and how we put it. Mm -hmm. And it was, again, it was once we did it, then boom, yeah. let's put it out there. I mean, I think that first video had like three different takes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we I reset it like two, three different times. <laughs> three different <laughs> spots. The light didn't work here or the light that we had back then was too yeah. hard. And it was like sweating in there. And then we did one. And same thing. Like, we're like, fuck, it's not good enough. Mm -hmm. But now it's like when people ask, like, oh, how's the editing or this or that's like dude and you're gonna see it is this raw coverage like, yeah from moment to end For it's because sure. it's like the first ones you don't know how yeah it's gonna go. but and and from there on it's just like we try to keep it as authentic as it is and mm -hmm. as real as it gets because sure. if i start cutting off pieces then we we're not letting people see the actual like the conversation real. yeah because yeah, you're and gonna that's what makes it better because you have it like live yeah you know? you're gonna see it not on like editing you're gonna and, see like, it when it comes <laughs> out and you're gonna yeah. be like Wait, he didn't put this out there or this or that. It's like yeah. nope. It's like everything raw. Everything <laughs> raw. But uh, yeah, we we're trying to get. I was. I mean, we try to work it out so you can get out here to Kentucky for <laughs> quite a quite a few weeks already. But uh, it was a. Uh, what, what am I trying to get at? The things that that happened, and I was just mentioning it that ten episodes ago, it was just hard to even get anybody. Mm -hmm. And now it's just like, bro, we're 
I think people are, are noticing little by little the type of message that we're trying to get out. And when I hit you up to come on, you said, hell yeah. And then you mm-hmm. had a specific topic. I want to shoot it right into <laughs> it. That body shaming. Mm-hmm. That bothers me so much. Man. And I feel like I see it a lot now. Um, not well, like just like in person yeah. and online. And it's so hard for people to talk about it online, I feel. But I've been seeing it a lot. And I don't know. It's just, it's something that always bugs me. Like, you can ask my sisters. Like, I hate, I hate, hate, hate when people talk about other people's bodies. Yeah. Or just people in general. Like, like talking bad about them. I'd be like, dude, like, just stop. Like, you know, like, what is it to you? Like, why is it bothering you? Like, yeah. people have their own battles behind. Like, you know, you don't yeah. know why they're like that. It's and I'm sure, like, you know, everybody has their insecurities. Like, e- even if they want to say no, like, I know people have their insecurities. Like, I mean, I myself have insecurities. And, you know, and it's just, like, one little bad comment can, like, ruin a whole day. Yeah. Just, like, one good comment can make somebody's day, you know? Yeah, definitely. I think mm-hmm. it, it transitions or it's in the same realm as the, how you just said, the confidence. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people, like, I would say myself, like you, that, that I've seen, and other people that I've seen that are just confident. Like they don't mm-hmm. let the little petty comments mm-hmm. like really bother them. But there's those those few people that it really affects them. Mm-hmm. Like they can go home and just be like, "Fuck, this person said this yeah. about me." Yeah, and then it sucks too because it's actually people that are trying to get better. And it's like, yeah. dude, like they're working on it. Like just leave them alone, you know. Yeah. And then I feel like I have to do like maybe people that say it, it's like they're not happy with themselves, and most of the time it is like you know yeah. like just worry about you. Like you don't have to be like body shaming other people to feel better about yeah because dude that's the same thing as you were saying earlier about mal de ojo like Mm -hmm. hating on you for whatever reason but why is that maybe how you said maybe they're just not happy with themselves Mm -hmm. why happens that's still a good question for a lot of people because (laughs) right i've seen people that are 25 30 40 that just body shame that talk down on other Mm -hmm. people and how we said it with uh joelle and uh ashley is just like dude you can do everything and be successful Mm -hmm. and you still have people that talk bad about you for sure and i think that that itself holds back a lot of people from moving Mm -hmm. on to the next level in their lives to really better themselves yeah like and it's just like i don't know people i mean at the end of the day it's you like you shouldn't care what people say but i feel like that's hard yeah like me at one point in my life i feel like i'm glad i'm better now but i feel like i would take it to heart Mm. like oh like you know like they said this about me or they said this about me and now it's like dude did you have a lot of haters a lot um a lot of not not, haters but a lot of negativity no it's not that it's just like um a long time ago i did have somebody that would kind of put me down Mm. like like tell me a bunch of stuff like obviously more when they were mad um, fuck you yeah. whatever that person is fuck you so it, it's <laughs> like i feel like but then i feel like that actually made me better yeah absolutely. like all of that like oh you know what and i'm like dude like why am i like listening to them you know like yeah you know so i feel like that made me better so now i feel like i want to help people like you know what like you know don't you don't have to worry about what they say like just yeah. do you you know but it's hard i know it's easier said than done you know yeah well, and a then lot, it's a lot like of people for just everybody and then like i feel like social media right now it's kind of like you have to look a certain way so i feel tough. like everybody wants to look a certain way yeah. like no like i mean i don't discriminate against like bbls or like tummy tucks you know because at the end of the day they'll feel better about themselves yeah. you know like they'll feel better but it's just like i feel like it's just so hard like everybody wants to look the same they want to like, they have this ideal yeah like people compare like this. they compare themselves to other people and it's like you don't know you shouldn't do that you know like we're all different you know, yeah. we're not all supposed to meant to look the same. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because, I mean, like how you said, if you want to, go ahead. If that makes you happy, Yeah, because I'm ahead. sure, dude, I'll be lying if I say I don't want to change something about myself. Because, obviously, it's going to make me feel better. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, you know, if you could work on it, you could, you know, you could work it. Because that's, like, like, dangerous. I feel like those things are dangerous. Oh, yeah. like you. Every surgery, like, that's dangerous, you know. But, I mean, at the end of the day, they feel better. But even then, like, when they do get BBLs or, like, surgery, like, they still body shame them. It's still like, not enough. Yeah, like, they still get body shamed. It's just, like, it's crazy to me. Yeah. You know? No, like, it's just, you, I think, no matter what a person does in their lives, in work, in physical aspect, mental, success, whatever it is, mm-hmm. it's still not enough for yeah. the public eye. That's what's important to care of yourself. Yes. Mm-hmm. mentally Self-care. emotionally dude i practice self-care all the time 
Yeah. What's the routine for self-care? Dude, self-care? I have every, well, the gym's one of them. All right, one. That's literally one. Like, I'll feel, like, down, and then I'll go, like, oh, I look good because, you know, I'm working <laughs> out. And then I get facials. I get massages. I go to the beach. I, like, I practice self-care all the time. Dang. But that's something I learned, too. Like, I wouldn't do that back then. Like, oh, why do I need that, you know? Like, yeah. it just makes you feel good. Like, you, take care of yourself. What like, do you think or how hard was that transition to really focus on you? It was hard. You? It was hard. I had, like, my bad days. I had good days. Like, nobody really knew about it because I don't like talking to nobody about it. Yeah. So, I kind of, I always, like, solve my own problems. I never like asking for help, which is bad because I feel like you should ask for help sometimes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was a, a hard transition. A hard transition. Yeah. Did you have, because. That's why I hate it, like, when I see it happening to people because, you know, like, I know what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. And then you run into people and they ask you that important question. How are you? You're like, oh, good. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. You're here. You're like, fuck, man. Yeah. But no, but you know, it's like not so much bad. Like, there's also good. Like, like I said, like a good comment can always like make your day. Like, literally, just tell somebody like, oh my god, I like your hair. That's all you have, and you'll see them freaking smile so big. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's true. The smallest things can go always a long way. So talking about that transition with you, um, reason why is like how you said you're very personal. You don't mm-hmm. post a lot in your social Mm-mm. media besides going out, yeah, travel, like the trips that but I go like, to, yeah, stuff like that. But no one really knows the behind the scenes, Gabby. Yeah. What really, what really made you who you are, right? Because mm-hmm. I think the only ones that really saw you were your friends. Mm-hmm. Shout out to your crazy My group friends. of friends that you got. <laughs> you know, because you guys been what since high school? Yeah, since Middle high school? school. We don't like hang out as much anymore, but yeah. when we do, it's like it's still the same. Yeah. You know? But and it's good to have them there. Did so when you went through the transition, did you have support? Like I did. Actually I did. So there was one friend that I would talk to it about, like about yeah. the person that would like take bring me down or whatever. Um, so she's always been there. Mm. Yeah. Shout she's out always to that been person there. Right yeah. There. But I, it's not so much I would tell her, but not so much like, Oh, I feel like this or feel like this. Like yeah. I would just kinda go through it by myself. So that's mm. how I'm saying, like, I practice so much self-care. Even now, you know. So I but built th- you. Yeah, built so that, you but then it also helps to have people that, you know, that are positive towards you and stuff like that. Yeah, that mm-hmm. they're positive in seeing your change, mm-hmm. you know, because everybody in life goes through a change. And uh, there's a lot of people, when you go through that change, that fall off. Yeah. That they don't see it and mm-hmm. they don't want to see it because, oh, you're going to outgrow me or whatever yeah. the case is. So they downshame you, they mm-hmm. downplay you, they do everything in the most to just really get you to exactly. not do that change. Yes. And it's like, why? Mm-hmm. This this makes me happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's just, you know, to those people, it's just like, why, why l- prohibit somebody from getting better? Exactly. You know, if mm-hmm. if I want to get better, I want to make sure m- the people around me get, get that same help, get better yeah. with me too. Because again, and how we, and I always said it, and I keep saying it, like if you're in a group of five and they're all broke, you'll be the six. Mm-hmm. If you're in a group of five that are you successful, you are hanging around with. Yeah, come mm-hmm. on, you say. And like, I believe that. I think I don't know. Has your mom told you? Like mama said, tell me who you're with. That's who you are. Yeah, it's. I don't know. My mom. I feel like everybody I tell like their mom says, or like they said their mom's the same way. Like they can feel your friends. Like, oh, no, it's not, like, she's not good for you. Like, why do you <laughs> hang out with her? And my yeah. mom has always been right. Your mom real deal, bro. Yeah. It's like, deal. it trips me out because, like, she's always been right for every single friend that she's told me. Oh, no, they're not good. I'm like, mom, you don't even know them. And you know, when I was <laughs> little, I was crazy. Two years ago. No, <laughs> no <laughs> two years ago. Like, high school days. And like yeah. a little after high school, she'd be like, oh, no, those friends are not good for you. And I'm yeah. like, mom, you don't know, like. You don't, know you don't even know about. them, yeah. yeah. But she was right the whole they time. They were just like so naive, so like against listening to our parents back then. Seriously, like we didn't want. And now I'm like, oh, sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> mom, you're right. Uh, it's funny because it like when I would go out, my mom would always call me, right? Always, always. And now she doesn't call me, and I'm like, mom, why don't you call me? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, oh no, can no, like I told you, you'll miss me calling you. And I'm like, yeah. oh. <laughs> Appreciate your mom's man. Yeah, literally. Your mom's always now I'm like, check why up. don't you call me anymore? Well, it's because she's like, well, I know you're with Jaime, which is my boyfriend. Like, I know you're safe. Like, back then, you would just go all by yourself. Like, I don't know where you were at or what you yeah. were doing, you know? And now, I'm like, but still, you don't call me to check up on us or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jaime got you. That's why. I know. But I'm like, so, yeah, so I get that. I'm the like, people that are viewing, she's off the market, my guy. <laughs> don't don't drop no DMs, no anything, because my guy Jaime out there, he watching. <laughs> 
But uh, transition. So now you are traveling, right? Like mm-hmm. obviously being safe and everything, but you are doing the most now and being happy. Yes. How is that transition? It feels good. I right. haven't been this happy in a long time, I could say. Um, well, honestly, I really didn't have anybody to travel. Like, because my friends, they all have boyfriends. You know, they all have their own life. I'm not going to be like, oh, like, let's go, you know. <laughs> and so yeah. I really didn't have anybody to travel with. Um, and well, now that I have a boyfriend, he, and he's kind of like me. I've known him for a long time. So we love, but we love adventure. Like, yeah. anyway, oh, we want to go here? Yeah, I'll go. Like, anything, anything, anything. We'll go. So then we're like, we should start, you know, traveling So more. did you friend zone him first? I did. <laughs> Fallen soldier, my guy. We were just talking about this yesterday with the primos. Man, that's a that's a fallen soldier. <laughs> Stop. But he threw the bait, reeled it back in because yeah. it got and caught. He got me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So yeah, we've been good. Damn. So now, what's that? You're 26, going to 27. Do you view a relationship differently? Oh, for sure. Yeah, and I feel like that's what, like, the whole process of me changing and stuff yeah. like that. It's totally different because again I'm, I'm i'm not kidding dude the viewers it's between 23 to about 28 and it's a majority Definitely. of of women and still males but mostly women that mm-hmm. tune in because the women that we've been getting are powerful mm-hmm. no sh- no shame on my on my boys my boys we're, we're good but those <laughs> are boy talks but i'm asking for those those girls, those females, those those young ladies that are coming up that have questions about relationships, mm-hmm. about transitions, about really putting yourself first and being happy, that you went through a transition and now yeah. you're genuinely happy. Mm-hmm. So what's the what's the outlook on a relationship um, now that you're at this point? So like with the whole transition, like I have to learn to be by myself because um, prior to this boyfriend, I had a boyfriend of six, five, I don't even remember, five, six years. Yeah. So after that, um, I was just a mess, kind of. Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, I was still getting my stuff done, but I was just like going out and going out and going out and stuff like that. Um, that was, a, what, like 21? Well, I turned 21, so obviously we were able to drink, so I was always going out and stuff like that. Um, but before this boyfriend, I did talk to, like, guys, you know, here and there. But same thing, it's just, I don't, it was just so hard to date, honestly. I hated yeah. dates, like so hard today like you, they either didn't know what they wanted and me sometimes i didn't know what i wanted honestly because yeah. i still like i feel like i wasn't healed yet Definitely. so i was just you know just trying it out but i i didn't know what i want when i wanted so yeah. then i took maybe like two years off of the nothing the whole thing yeah um so that's when i practiced you know i had to be by myself i have to love myself that's, self-care that's here, tough, here man, and to, there. Be, to learn how to be yeah by yourself. so then i feel like one of the reasons why i wouldn't like um, give my now boyfriend a chance is because I feel like I wasn't ready and I feel like we had like a good connection so I didn't want to mess that connection up yeah and I always tell him I was like that's why it was like I wasn't ready you know like and I feel like you were like when it would come to down to it yeah. so then um this just happened this year like in January and I just felt like I was like okay I think I'm ready yeah I'm let's ready. see where it goes yeah so then after that, um, well, it's been good up to till now. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. That's cool because, yeah, but you know, to really see see you and, and I'm sure the people around you to really see you genuinely happy. Yeah, for it sure. It should be a great a great thing to see because, you know, when when you really care about somebody, like you're in your friends and you really see them change and like, bro, I, you're happy. Mm-hmm. I'm happy for you. And they're just like, damn, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But then you have those people, too, that just, they downplay it. Yeah. They do the most just to not make it work. Exactly. But it's... <sighs> it's but it's, like, one thing I can't say, like, for people that are single and stuff like that, like, don't go looking for it. Like, don't go looking for it because you're not going to find it. I feel like it will just come to you. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, you'll know. And then just, meanwhile, I, I love being alone. Even till now, I tell my boyfriend, <laughs> like, you know, I still need my space sometimes. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, I, I mean, it's important to be by yourself, you know, like... Well, that's what I've learned. Like, you just have to be alone. Yeah. And I actually loved it. I loved it. Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah. first first rule to self-care, learn yeah. how to be by yourself. Yeah. Because, a, again, a lot of people don't know, don't know or just don't want to understand that, hey, before you can really commit to somebody, you really need to take care of yourself. 
For sure. Look after yourself because if you can't take care of you, how can you take care of somebody else? else? How can Mm -hmm. you provide for somebody else? How can you be that person for somebody Mm -hmm. else? Like, again, relationships are not easy, right? They're not, like yeah. they're, It's going to be ups, downs mm-hmm. after you get out of the honeymoon stage, whatever it is. But it's just figuring out that, that middle part. Okay, what's the understanding? Mm-hmm. How can we get here? Look, we're at this age already. This is the plan. This is my plan. Yeah. I hope you can understand it and you want to join me. And if, if we join that journey together, mm-hmm. we're going to compromise somewhere. We're yeah. going to, we're going to, I might change the little things. You might change little things, but at the end of the day, like, we still work because... Like, commit to each other. Because, shit, we live in California. Like, yeah. shit isn't easy. It's hard out here. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it's expensive out here. Yeah, like, it is not easy. Like, don't yeah. get me wrong. It's cool. And everybody has everybody has their their uh, their lifestyles. Mm-hmm. They can go clubbing, bar hopping, travel, whatever it is. Yeah. But at the end at of the day, end like, day, there's... Make sure you have your stuff done. Yeah. Because, Mm -hmm. shit, time flies. Literally flies. Time flies. It flies so fast. So, can we talk about Wallstar? Oh, my God. (laughs) I'm at (laughs) Curveball. Curveball. Where are we at? We're at 21? Oh, we're good. We're good. Yeah. I knew you were going to do that. Curveball. for the. (laughs) You guys might have seen her uh, throwing a mean old right hook at a... Go. We have a famous person here. Talk about your experience at Dodger Stadium. Okay, well, first, let me start off by saying it wasn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> she just I literally didn't right want to fight. I don't like fighting. I really don't. How many fights have you gotten total? Like one. Dodger Stadium it was. Oh, well, that one, too. Two. That's my, that would be a second one. Two and oh? Or oh and two? Mm, I don't know. The Dodger Stadium didn't count. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that shit was a rumble. <laughs> <laughs> she was in the trenches that was out there. My fault. Okay, so we were at a Dodger game, you know, enjoying the game. I was coming back with my two Jaliscos, you know. Um, I had gone to that game because my sister bought tickets. Yeah. So she's like, oh, just come with me. Like, I have an extra ticket. So we were sitting in the left pavilion, which mm-hmm. is, that's all the way in the back, right? Correct. I never sit there because I've heard, like, bad things about <laughs> that place, right? So I'm like, whatever. It's a free ticket. Yeah. That's only $20. Or whatever. So then I, we go, right? My sister's sitting. It's me and then her friend, her boyfriend, and then her, right? So she's like, hey, the girls in the back keep kicking me. And you know, have you ever sat there? Yeah. It's just like benches. It's Correct. not chairs. So there was two girls behind her, like kicking her or like just being obnoxious or whatever. And I was like, just ignore it. Like, just leave her. Like, do you want to move? Like, you know, just move. She's like, no, they should stop or whatever. So then those two girls, I guess they were recording for like a vlog. Mm. They were like vloggers, I guess. I don't oh, know. shit. And they said, record this dumb in front of us. And my sister was like, what? I wasn't there. That's the story she told me. So I don't know. If, I exactly don't know. what? Yeah, I don't know exactly what happened. So then she was like, what? Like, what did you say? And then I don't know. I guess I don't know who threw what. or, And they just started fighting. So I'm coming back with my beers and I see them fighting. I'm like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> Wait, did we so drop the beers? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet so they're fighting right and it's just my sister and that girl fighting yeah. and then everybody's trying to like pull, pull them, away. them away but that girl's friend i see her like stalking my sister like she was on top of the bleachers so then she was stalking my sister in the head so i was like oh no like why is she hitting her <laughs> so i dropped my beers i put the two phones in my back pocket because at that time i had my sister's phone and i tried to jump up just to like hit her but me no right hook yeah <laughs> so then i tried to hit her but then the security guard pulled me down so since she was on top of the, like, she was a seat on top, yeah. I had, like, I was under her. So then I just tried to sock her. I don't know. I think I got her. I don't I don't think so. I don't know. So are you banned now from Dodger Stadium? No, we're not. We're not, surprisingly. So then after whatever, they pulled them apart. They kicked us out, obviously. <laughs> and I was, like, talk, just talking to my sister. Not talking to her. I was screaming at her. I was like, why would you fight? That's so embarrassing. We hadn't even left the, they hadn't even kicked us out. And my sister already sent a video that was at home. Like, you guys are so ghetto. <laughs> Talk about. That's how fast it went. And we weren't even, they kicked us out. And then we were, like, in the car. And I was already getting text messages. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Trend. So you were the hottest thing in, in Dodger City. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> I still get mad at my sister to this day. I'm like, why did you have to fight? I, I don't know the true story because, obviously, I wasn't there. Hey, But, but somebody thing. started it, right? Maybe my sister, because she's a little 
We gotta <laughs> we gotta find those people and be like, hey, what exactly happened? No, but man? wait. Okay, so then those two girls that were like messing with my little sister, I guess they knew who she were, who she were, who she was, mm. because it, we tied them up to somebody that we know, and that <sighs> somebody that we know doesn't like my sister. <sighs> so we don't know if that has something to do with that, but exactly. they all tied up together. Cause I'm like, that's weird. Like, why would they be bugging her Out like that? You know? yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude. Like, we're just watching the game. Like, why are you just kicking my sister's seat? Like, you know. But yeah, that's what happened, so and it was everywhere. So then, going back to her coworkers knowing, I'm at work the next day or like a couple of days, and it's on the news, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I hope Trendy. they don't. I'm like, I hope they don't notice it's me. Like, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Like, why am I fighting at the Dodger Stadium? But they didn't notice it. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because people just noticed that it was me because they saw my sister. Because I don't think you, like on, like, the one from the back, yeah. or you can't really see it's me. I'm going to try to find that video. We're gonna put but it. there is a lot of different angles. So yeah. Some of them you do see my I'm face. I'm going to try to find it. We're going to put it right here so people don't see a small little clip. <laughs> She's just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, all we know I hate, is. It's I hate fighting. I hate it. My sister's the one that always usually is a little more All we know is. More uh, feisty. Gabby, Gabby and Fam is 2-0, and 1-0 at Dodger Stadium. Never again. Say, I feel bad for that beer, man. You had to you had, <laughs> had drop two. it. Oh, uh, hey, they're drop. fucking expensive. And they were full, yeah. They're they were, expensive they were there. I heard they're more expensive now. I haven't been. Have you been to Dodger Stadium? Hell no, I'm too poor to afford that. Same, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but I've heard that it's expensive, more, like more. I think the tall cans are like 14. When I went, I heard they're like 20. Right? Uh, they're like 20. I heard they're like $20. Damn. Well, drop, everything's expensive. Tell, drop a comment below. Is it worth buying beer at Dodger Stadium or pre-gaming yes. before? Both. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you agree, just just tell us. No, it's expensive. You should probably pre-game. No, but it's because, I don't know, they're, they're beer. It's just, an ambiente. But, no, it's because, I don't know, the drinks just, just having a drink at the Dodger Stadium is. It's mando. Yeah. Mandatory. It's because I how can it. you post the water at Dodger Stadium? Yeah. You know. Damn. Part two. Now yeah. let's get into a, 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 a deeper conversation. I'm scared a little bit. Are you ready for this? Mm hmm What's the the outlook or the the way you see how girls are portrayed now in age on, on Instagram or on social media or in life in general? Because I think it's tough. It's so, so tough. It's um, I feel like, well, like I mentioned earlier, it's just like they're portrayed to look a, a certain way. Like I think our standards in society now is just like everybody wants to look the same. Yeah. Not that they want to look the same, but they want to have what everybody else has. You know, like a big butt, big boob, this and that. Yeah. And like, Botox, lip fillers, nose, whatever, you know. But like, at the end of the day, like I said, um, if it makes you feel better, you know, it makes you feel better. But it's just like those girls that are, are actually trying to be like, you know, not yeah. do all of that. I feel like it gets hard. What do you think it's a, it's a good, not good. What are, what, do you, what are requirements or things that you look for, for in a relationship? Like, obviously, you already have one, but. What, what were some qualities or traits that you saw like, hey, this is what I want and this is what I, I, what I want in the relationship? Was there like certain things? Um, like, I'm not really picky. Don't but be a bum. Don't no, be well, honestly, <laughs> though, right? I'm not, I feel like I'm not picky. Like I don't have a type. I honestly don't really go for looks. Mm. I don't really go for looks. Yeah. I mean, um, but what I feel feel like that i look for more importantly is like you know having your things together making sure That's you know where you're going what you want what you want and 10 years from now even five years from now because well i'm gonna be 27 already like yeah i need you to know like what you want in five years you know 10 years from now um just like i said like moral support you know when my days get bad or you know Definitely. i'll be there for you or you're there for me um, just family oriented, you know, I love my family, so I want them to be the same. Yeah. Um, even if we don't have a big family, like one day, you know, us have a family cause you know, I do want to have a family. Do you think, uh, m making a good amount of money or making a decent amount of money plays an effect in, uh, in I say like, like a decent, I don't want you to be like super rich, you know? I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, I don't care how much money you make. Um, as long as you know, you're making a living for it. 
yeah. and you're making more than good enough as long for as you yourself. Ain't no bum. Yeah, you know. I mean, because honestly, I can make my own money. I don't need your money. I don't. I know yeah. I see a lot of people like, oh, he pays for this or asking for this. And like, I don't ask for anything. Like, yeah. I don't ask for your money. Like, if you want to, you know, buy me this, this and that here and there. Like, okay, good, you know, but yeah. I got myself, you know. At I the end of the day, like. At the end of the day, like, I'm like, I don't want you for your money. I want you for you as a person, how you love on me, you know. Yeah. Re- reciprocate this same energy. Because I, ca- I can love hard, honestly. I'm like, and I, I'm a, a giver. So I, think, I love giving. I think that's just kind of like what it is when when you love hard right it's mm-hmm. because you give everything there mm-hmm. right you give your heart body and soul 110 to to that person because at the end of the day like you don't give you don't give any regret right at yeah. the end of the day like if shit doesn't work out you don't you live know, with at the least regret. you know you gave it your all yes and that's what i've learned too along the way yeah mm-hmm. and then for as far as like women or females do you think that they need to prov- provide or present a certain or give like they have to have a set like a tool tool belt of all right i, I got a job i have this i got this to offer because i i was just watching i think it was like the other day on on a podcast and there were some girls that said well the man has to do everything mm-hmm. i'm just there to be hot and give them that motivation I was like, damn, that's no, crazy. I know there is some people like that. But then again, like the guys like that. I feel like um, guys want that, like stay at home mom or like stay at home girlfriend. Like I'll provide for you. Yeah. Because I've seen relationships like that, like people that I've known and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, that's kind of nice. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's whatever you want. Like everybody's different, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't think it should be that way, but that's just my personal opinion. Yeah. Because like I said, I like getting my own stuff, you know, separately. Yeah. And then um, I feel like it's, you know, if you're in a relationship, you work together. You have to. Yeah, you have to work together um, just to make sure you guys are both okay, you know, not just yourself. At the end of the day, you guys are both together. Um, You're committed to be in a relationship, so you're there for each other. And there's more than than just, like, the physical attraction, Yeah, yeah, you have to have way more than just physical attraction. I mean, it's cool, but I heard it, well, not that I heard it. Jackie, when I think it was like episode twelve or thirteen, Hakez, she came on and she and she was like, "Dude, people want to do boyfriend and girlfriend stuff, mm-hmm. but they don't want the title." Yeah, and that sucks. That's what I'm saying. When I was like single for that whole time, like people don't want that. Like the people that I came across with, like yeah. they don't want that. Like they just want to treat you like that, but not give you the title. Yeah. Is it? And it sucks nowadays. Like yeah. that's what. Honestly, that's all it is now. Like. Not all, you know, you'll find here and there. And, like, um, yeah. I get so happy when you see people that are happy together. Facts. And they actually show it. But there is a lot of people that are just, like, boyfriend and girlfriend, but not boyfriend and girlfriend. Because they, they want to... that makes sense. They want to take you out. They want to have a a good time. Mm-hmm. They want the, the cutty. Mm-hmm. And then when it comes down to it, they don't want... They the don't commitment. Want the Correct. And that's the... That's what sucks. Mm-hmm. That... You know, at the end of the day, people get people get hurt. Yeah. You know, right. guys and girls. Yeah. They get hurt. I've seen it both sides. They get hurt, and it's just like, bro, like, sad to say that when that is happening, it's just like, dude, like, what are you? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, I think the the conversation or or the topic was when you have when you have those people, it's just like, all right, look at your little brother, look at your little sister. You want him mm-hmm. to go through that? You want him to get that hurt? Mm-hmm. Which is cool. I mean, when you're just, how you said, like, you went through a transition, but there's guys and girls that go through the same thing, yeah. and they go, not in a rampage, but they don't care who yeah, they hurt. like, they don't heal. They don't heal, they don't and heal. they're just hurting people at the yeah, same time. Yeah, and that's another thing, too, is, like, you get out of one relationship sometimes, and you don't heal, and you jump into another one. Yeah. Like, it's just going to be a repetitive, like, yeah, you like know, that, it's going to be repetitive. That next relationship might work might yeah. not work for but the you same won't reason care. yeah and then you're just like whatever yeah because you're not healed from the one before yeah. and that's another thing too like if you got a relationship i think healing is really important your outlook on kids yeah what's your on outlook kids? on kids i want kids not right now like no offense to anybody i love kids but yeah. i feel like well like you said we're, we just started traveling like yeah. we want to not that you can't travel with the kid but it's you tough. Know, it's, yeah, I know. <laughs> it well, even tough. just, you know, I yeah. see my sister, like, it's hard, you yeah. know? And then um, 
I'm, we have the opportunity to do it right now. Um, we do want kids, but not at the moment. Yeah. But I do want kids. It changes. Like, when you yeah. have kids, it, it changes a lot of stuff. It changes. It's a beautiful thing, though. Yeah. I mean, say, well, for example, you've been, I were you have to get pregnant. To, uh, <laughs> to a niece and a nephew. An, a niece and a nephew. Mm -hmm. So you already. So I see it, you know. Yeah, you're already aunt. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. how old is your niece right now? She's nine. Nine. She's going to be nine. Damn, yeah. already? Yeah, in August. That's a funny little girl. I know. That's she's, a funny little girl. She's turning into a little brat, though. <laughs> See, that's, she's going. She's that's, at that age. She's at the age. And yeah. then your your nephew is... He's nine months. Nine months. Mm -hmm. uh, that's dope. Mm -hmm. That's dope seeing that... Uh, seeing your sister, actually, like in that transition. Mm -hmm. that, her, that too. I'm so proud of her. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. single mom. And she's my little sister. My little sister. But so I'm so proud of her. She's making it happen. Yeah, for sure. She's grinding. For sure. So do you take that as a motivation, inspiration? Yeah, like seeing her I do. And I what see she's her done? and I'm like, well, she, like, she's a really good mom. Yeah. And I would never, ever like think, you know, she would get pregnant that early, yeah. like before me or anything. But she's owned up to her position and yeah. it's just good to see. Like, I love seeing it. It's just like, uh, you know, things, things happen. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. We're all old enough to understand that when we make certain things, mm -hmm. right, when we do certain things, there's repercussions to it all. Mm -hmm. There's results to it all. So it's like we can't deny the obvious. Yeah. Like, hey, we knew exactly what, what could happen at that moment. Obviously, you don't think about it, yeah. but uh, they happen. That's so it's happens. just what happens after that. Right. Mm -hmm. Like what what do you do? Do you step up? Do you run away? Mm -hmm. Do you are you a parent? Are you their supporter? Are you their leader? Mm -hmm. Are you the motivation, inspiration to them? Because when you have little kids, you know, speaking because obviously we have one. Yeah. It's like they look at you. They look they at you. They see everything you do. Everything from mm -hmm. morning to night to mm -hmm. whatever they see you, they see it all. They see everything. So it's just like when I've sadly it's. It's I've seen it that a lot of people have uh, have not stepped up to that plate or they let kids change them for the worst. Mm -hmm. It happens. And it's hard to see. It's like sad to see, you know, yeah. um, some people don't take the responsibility. And I mean, you tell them and tell them and tell them and they don't take responsibility. It's, I mean, what more do you need? Like you if you, if that doesn't motivate you to do better, like. I don't know. Yeah, that's like that's. I feel like a kid having a child, bringing this uh, child to this earth, it's like yeah. the biggest motivation ever. It should be, you know, because at the end of the day, they're a blessing, a blessing. No matter how old you are, I've seen people that have teen moms, and they're like the best moms, because you know they look at it as a positive. Like, okay, you know, I it happened because I decided to do it, and you know they're here. Like, okay, I'm gonna yeah. try to give them the best I can. Give them better. Yeah, yeah, I definitely. Gotta do better. Yeah, because at the end of the day, they're yours, you know? Yeah. So power to uh, your little sister. Mm -hmm. Teenage, young mom, not a teenage, young mom. And just backtracking to, like, what we were just saying about relationships. Like, I think, and everybody at their own pace, but when you get to a certain age, it's just like, all right, how long can I keep this up of just playing games yeah. and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Because, I mean... When you hurt somebody, they don't, that's never forgotten. Mm -hmm. And it hurts people and and they take it to heart for. Ever? Not for, actually. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> to some people, to some people they do because, yeah. you know, it's, it's tougher. I'm not going to say. It's not it's that you take it with you forever. It's just like you always remember it. Yeah. Like, I don't think you'll ever forget when somebody and it, hurts you. Did you have that, uh, like a wall that you had yeah. like, before, before you got with, with him? Yeah. A this. big wall. <laughs> a big brick wall. <laughs> Is the st yeah. stigmas, man. You know, just again, the past doesn't doesn't make you, but it, it doesn't represent you, but yeah. it, it does build you in a yeah. certain way. And that's why you have to learn. I felt it was hard for me. Like, well, I have to walk because it's hard for me to trust people, just because it's been done to me. But do you think that's? Not just relationships, like it's in general. In general, yeah. But yeah. I feel like just like that big, 
part of my life that yeah. just made me like okay there i'm yeah, done trusting how you people. said when you love hard like yeah so i'm like i'm done trusting people like i'm over it like that's it so i was like that for a long time i feel like sometimes i catch myself like still like oh no like yeah. kind of backing up but that's just something like i said you'll never forget it it's like i think i'm over it but i'm like i won't forget it it takes time right yeah. every i think every new relationship no matter if it's boyfriend girlfriend or friendships, friendships and stuff like that there's yeah in order for you to invest big time like you have to know mm-hmm. what you're getting yourself into yeah. to an extent because you don't really know people until you really yeah. get to know people but you see signs like the way people act the people portray themselves yeah. like how they act around you people want to take 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 yeah and never so give anything. that's what i've learned too like yeah i have to, i'm like a really, really like I inspect, you know. <laughs> no, I try yeah. to see, like, what I'm getting myself into before. because yeah. our time and energy is valuable. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel where I'm at, that if I'm going to invest in you, in, like, just being friends, emotional, and being there with you, yeah. I expect it back in a certain way. Yeah. Not like possession-wise, not not money-wise, because money comes and goes. Yeah. It, it flies. It You know, it can be spent. It can be earned. But knowing the person genuinely mm-hmm. and for them to really care for you the same way you do. Like, I mean, I normalize like with, with my guy friends, like, bro, I love you. Yeah. And that's good. You know, like I, lo- you guys I love know you guys you. got each other. Exactly. And, yeah. good. and that's good to have. It's hard to ha- like find that nowadays. Yeah. So if you know it, like, you know, you know. Yeah. Cause it, it could be, let's go out to eat. It could be just a stupid call. It could be mm-hmm. a text. It like could the be littlest things. The littlest things. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it goes, it goes a long way. And like I said, we started this podcast thanks to a conversation we had mm-hmm. with many, with, with, with many of our people that was like, dude, like. I, I wish people can can hear, can hear these this. conversations. And I hear that a lot, like with just everybody in general. Like, yeah. oh my God, I wish people could hear our conversations like when we're yeah. drinking. Like, if you re- like, think about it, like the like, conversation you have with like your friends. Yeah. yeah. When you really have those deep conversations. Yeah. And you're just like, damn. Like you said, I wish I would have recorded that or like I yeah. wish I can go back to it, you know? Yeah, because imagine like, that, putting your phone down, yeah. putting the record button and said and done. And hearing it after. And then it's just like now that conversation helped me and I hope it can help the next no, person to listen. Person. Again, like we're going at a, at a rate and a pace that people that support us are listening. And the people that don't support us are listening mm-hmm. and shout out to Ashley. And she said it too. She was like, those people that talked bad still tuned in to messages because they needed to hear it. Mm-hmm. It's like, bro, the message is for everybody. It's not, it's not written on there. Like only the people that do this can hear it. It's can like, nope. It's like for everybody to listen to. For it. everybody. Like when yeah. they come across our energy, it's just like, you know, it's us. Yeah. You know, this isn't anywhere else or you can't get this anywhere else. Yeah. And then I feel like people need to hear it sometimes. Like, you know. Yeah. Are, are you, uh, now, do you feel like you listen to outside people Not, i do like, yeah i do um it work it helps a lot because at work i work with like more older people and they've obviously lived through their life you know yeah. right so sometimes i'll ask them for advice and i feel like they really do help me because it's just like from their knowledge all those years and yeah. um so i do i do listen to other people what, what do you think the the transition from uh a 21 year old gabby to now 26 it's totally different I feel different even than it's what five years, yeah. but it's took a lot. It's taken a lot. You think? Did you think every year you changed? Every, every year, month? yeah. Um, no, not every year. I want to say every maybe two years, because I would have trouble like thinking like, okay, I'm not okay. Like I need like you know yeah. I need to ask somebody for help and be like, no, I'm good. Like I'm good. Like I said, yeah. I don't like asking for help. Yeah. Like my fam, I don't ask them for help. You know, it's more like I give them advice and I'm like something I tell myself like. Like, practice what you preach. Because yeah. I'm the one giving, like, all the advice, but I'm not taking it in myself. And that's something I learned, too. Like, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. it's a it's a tough thing to really comprehend. Like, hey, like, I really need to listen. Mm-hmm. I really need to hear people out. I yeah. need to hear that. Whether it works or not, like, just hearing other people out makes you understand, like, mm-hmm. all right, you went through that. Yeah, because it's just not you anymore. It's just like, okay, somebody else understands me, too. Yeah. yeah, like I'm not the only mm-hmm. one that went through it. Yeah. So it's just, it's crazy, you know, for people to understand life, life gems, mm-hmm. it, they really need to be ready for it. Yeah. You know, for we're sure. not always ready to listen to 
what is to come. Yeah. <laughs> but at their own pace. So I want to ask you, like, if if you had one word to describe you, what would it be? Mm. Fighter. No, right. A warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's, I, I always, I've always had trouble with that. Like when they would ask me like one word to describe you. I've Two words. Oh, I don't know. That's hard. Mm, that maybe that's something to think about. That's yeah, hard. What's a good, what's a good word? Well, I feel like I've mm, like giving. Like I said, I'm very giving. Like very, very giving. Like if I can help everybody, I would. That's just something I've always, yeah. And even if I can't, I'll be like, yeah. Like even if I can't, yeah, I'll be like, yeah. So I feel like I'm very giving. A given person. You put other people first sometimes. First. Yeah. And like say I have like all these things to do. Like, okay, okay, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that that's good though. Yeah. You know, that, those are good traits because now how you said, now that uh you're matured, now that you grew, mm-hmm. you understand the balance of what it is to give everything yeah. and what it is to to give to yourself. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Give to other people and give to yourself. Like you hold it to where you can maintain, yeah. at least, right? You can. Yeah. We're not always at 100% every single time. Yeah, for sure. But uh, I wanted to ask, I don't know, so you said you've seen it, so on a 1 to 10 scale, mentally, emotionally, relationship, money, 1 to 10. 10 uh, being your perfect. My perfect? I'm not perfect yet, so I'm not going to say 10. 1 meaning? I want to say like an 8. Mm, yeah. I high. still have, you know. But I wouldn't say 10 because obviously I'm not perfect. Yeah. Yet. No, not that I can be perfect. But um, I feel like I still, not a little work. Like, I feel like emotionally and stuff like that, I'm better, way, way better now. Yeah. Like, you know, but I can, I feel like I have more potential to go to. I feel like I made to do more. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm in the works of something yeah. else. Um, like I said, I, I like helping people. That's why I went the medical field side. But I feel like it's more than that now. Like, yeah. it's not people that are sick. Like, it's like mentally, you know, emotionally, or even Beautiful. like people that are in need. Like, I really, really want to help people. Like, and like, like when we go to Tijuana, you know, my mom's from yeah. Tijuana. Like, she always takes clothes. She always takes food. Like, it's more than that, you know. I like helping people, but I feel like I went to the medical field because you do help people, but I feel like that's not all I'm made to do. You yeah, know, the calling. So, yeah. So um, that's why I'm like, I'm not stopping there. <laughs> Damn. Mm-hmm. So we got to stay tuned for yes. <laughs> for what's next. Definitely. Yeah. Cause what you just said, like, and what I got of it, you, your mom is this and mm-hmm. she's a giver. And My a dad pleaser. is too. They both are. I'm best with amazing parents. Mm-hmm. And it just got passed down. Mm-hmm. Damn. But that's, you know, what you just said. And, and I hope a lot of people really understand it and hear themselves and think about themselves and what they're doing that we are here for something bigger. Mm-hmm. We are here for something. We're meant for something yeah. here. Not just for what other people tell mm-hmm. us we're meant or for. Or not just for like what society wants or what you should do. Like, like you know what you want. Like, you know what you want to do. And like yeah. I said, I like helping people. So I know, but I know it's not just helping people in the medical field. <sighs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> so that's why I'm not at 10 yet, but I'll get there. <laughs> No, nah, I think uh, with with progress, with with process, like we, at our own pace, we will all get there. And mm-hmm. I think it's just harder to maintain that that perfection. But it's a how I told her, and I say it like the process is just beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when, it when is. You, when you look back on how far it, you've came exactly. and progressed, yeah, like you need to tap yourself in the back sometimes. Yeah. Like, hey, I did that. Yeah, I came a long way, mm-hmm. and, and it gets I, you happy. Yeah, like yeah. that's why shit or like sometimes on snapchat you know how it saves the stories yeah it's crazy because like i'll look at the stories and i'm like oh my god at that point in my life i was like you know this this what and that yeah. yeah and like you feel like i can feel what i was feeling when i look at those videos yeah. it's crazy it's different and yeah and then now i'm like wow like that's crazy yeah and i think and then to know like to know that you know you can actually feel that like it's crazy because you understand now like yeah it's just where. when and i really hope after people watch the whole the whole thing that they really get something out of it a message that uh you know you gotta self self love mm-hmm. you gotta take care of yourself mm-hmm. you need to put yourself first always and uh shit you need to take the punch and then you gotta roll with them yeah you gotta roll with them and take care of yourself shit who knows what you'll be in 
two years from now, three mm-hmm. years from now, because the opportunities are endless where we're at. And uh, if, again, you just got to take care of yourself first. Mm-hmm. Everybody does. After this, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Shit. Everybody does. You're going to pound down one or you going to take a shot? What do you want to do? Whatever you want. <sighs> I'm up for anything. Say no more. <laughs> Say no more. You know, because... We probably won't see Gabby for another two, three, four years. I know. I wish we could, like, you know, hang out sometimes. It's hard, though, honestly. It is. It's so hard. People have Super life, tough. You know? But. you know, when you're traveling the world, it is tough, Gabby. <laughs> where, where are you going to next? Uh, we're actually going to Chicago. Damn. Next week? Oh, Wait, sh- The fourth. Yeah, next week, right? Yeah. Is it? It's the 20th. Oh, next two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, the fourth. Damn. Mm-hmm. We've been wanting to go there, so. Are you guys gonna go watch a baseball game out there? No, we're just gonna go be little tourists. <laughs> we got like, uh, we like to, like I said, we're like really adventurous, so we just try to see what activities we can do, or we really like trying new food. Ooh, Chicago. like restaurants, even yeah. new drinks. Like we like trying like new. Yeah. And then Chicago's known for the good food, so. And known for good food. And I then think the I have coworkers I've been there, so they're like recommending places. Sears and stuff Tower like that. is a big yeah. one. The so we boat. just like exploring, honestly. Shit. We want to try to do like every state. So we'll see how that goes. And we're gonna we're gonna put a the whole United States right there. We're gonna that. we're gonna the start little, picking them off. The little pins, yeah. So we want to do that. Well, toast, but, dude. Toast. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming for this episode Thank you and for uh, having me. like, share, subscribe, take this. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next one, bro.